is this Adidas's best head guard ever? Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. I'm Simon, a full-time amateur boxing coach, former amateur boxer and lover of boxing equipment. On this channel I highlight all the best equipment out there and the worst. So today we have got the head guard, the cheek head guard by Adistar Pro. And this head guard is designed in the USA. As you know, that over the last few weeks, I have been doing uh, cheat guard head guards and putting them into my cheat guard list, which is on my website. And today is the turn of this head guard designed in the USA and Adidas's top of the range head guard. So these come in several different colors. Uh, you've got, of course, the black and the gold. You've got a black and a white. You've got a white and a black and a white and a red and also you've got the gold silver and also the black in the metallic and these of course perfectly go with the rest of the Addy speed range whether it be the groin guard or the gloves and you can mix and match to get the perfect set for yourself but there is enough colors out there to really tailor it to your own style so this head guard is a high quality cowhide leather head guard you have got a thick foam in there, you've got a lace at the top, you've got a lace at the rear with a pad, as you can see, a rear pad for protecting the back of the head, and then at the bottom you have got a Velcro. Okay, so uh, most head guards don't go for the CE approved, Adidas do. Uh, and I'm told that part of the CE approved means that they can't have a clip and that's why they go with the Velcro. I always like the clip like on the winning FG 2900. That is my very preferred way of fastening at the bottom. If that means to get the CE approved Adidas can't use that. I kind of get that but I still prefer the plastic clip. And I don't know what the CE approved gives Adidas more than all the other head guards that haven't got CE approved on the market, okay? Because uh, essentially the protection feels to me to be the same. Uh, the only difference is they're limiting themselves on the chin strap, what they can use. So these come in small, medium, large, and XL. And this is a light head guard at 12 ounce. I'll bring that round there. You can see the ear donuts. And what I like is they haven't copied, like many brands do, they haven't copied the winning FG 2900. There, they've done their own thing. Uh, as I bring that round, you can see those ears. And then, of course, I've told you about that pad as well. And inside there, you can see that Amara lining, which really is very, very comfortable around the head. So that being said, let me put it on for you. Um, when it comes to durability, I do think that a Velcro at the bottom, that is probably the thing that's going to go first. And that's a real shame on this head guard because as I say, it is a very durable leather head guard. So push it on like so. And of course, when you, I always say to leave the bottom chin strap in place and slide on. It's a little bit more difficult in this one, but you can line up the Velcro, no problem at all. And then of course, at the back, just tie it with those laces. And I can already feel how protective that is as I put that on. That Amara lining is really soft on the face. And uh, I shall show you the vision that I've got as well. So there we go. A little bit fiddly at the back, but I've got it now. Okay, so good thick padding around the front. This covers the nose. Okay, so I can touch my nose, but of course, these are pretty much protecting a lot of the nose. So if I was to get a blow there, yeah, I would feel it on my nose, but the majority of the glove would be stopped by, as you can see by the cheek guards that are there. Then come to the side, you've got the ear bars, stop those sort of perforated eardrums. I'm looking there, I can see 
I can look there and I can see the camera, turn around so you can see how it looks at the back with that pad that is there as well. So if anybody does catch you at the back of the head, there is a pad and protection there. A lot of uh, head guards don't have that. Then I go here, looking, I can see the camera there, I'm looking there. So again, peripheral vision, great. Uh, yeah, I can see these here, but the vision is actually very good. And you can get a really good fit at the top and at the rear, and as I say, with that at the bottom. So let me take that off. Uh, metallic version, okay, the metallic version is slightly more money, but same fit, uh, but it does look good. In the metallic especially when you put it together with the rest there okay so you've got that gold silver and black groin guard as well as those gold silver and black gloves there as you can see and I just tighten it up there and that's really lovely really protective and looks stunning as well so let's get up onto the screen the fit to box ratings card for this head guard and so we are going style 96, comfort 95, durability 94. I've dropped that down a little just because I think that the Velcro will be what goes first. Vision 95, protection 94, value for money 97 for a leather head guard. The standard colours are £123, the metallic colours £134. And I've got these from Cymac.net which is Adidas's UK distributor. So, is this the best head guard that Adidas have ever done? Absolutely, yes it is. 95.1 is the overall score that I've come out with, and that is a three-star excellent head guard. Um, my only improvement would be that instead of it being a Velcro at the bottom, I would have a clip, but I fully understand that Adidas are working to a different set of rules to everybody else in that they're getting their equipment CE approved. And part of the process for that means that they can't use a plastic clip. I don't understand that. I don't know where the CE approved board have got that from. Um, but at the end of the day, if the only option is the Velcro, that's what Adidas have got to go with to acquire that CE approval. Okay, so this is a great value, stylish leather head guard, excellent, three stars, and you can have a look on my website, fitterboxchannel.com, and see in my cheek list where this head guard ranks and rates. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fitterbox Channel, and I shall speak to you soon.